The Commerce Department has announced a major step toward implementing a smart grid. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has now finished what it calls a roadmap to developing and integrating the necessary smart grid technology. The timing of this announcement and also the location both coincide with the end of the Grid Week 2009 conference here in Washington. But Clean Skies' Dan Goldstein reports this morning there are still concerns about whether or not the Obama administration is moving too quickly on these measures. The 90-page document from NIST is really a roadmap for the new grid. It identifies about 80 initial standards needed to help sync up the vast number of devices and systems which make up the grid to work with each other. The NIST document also lists 14 critical areas identifying gaps in the current system, such as electricity storage and compatibility with hybrid auto plug-ins that the government says needs to be filled in. Well, this report is like an architect's first detailed drawing of a complex structure. It presents a high-level conceptual model to ensure that everyone is on the same page before moving forward to develop more detailed, formal, smart grid architecture. The Commerce Department hopes these gaps will be filled in by the end of 2010. But while the document calls cybersecurity a critical component of the new grid, NIST said in the same document its task force assigned to assigning security weak spots won't be ready until as late as March 2010. And key components like these smart meters are already being installed nationwide. Well, Secretary Locke's announcement over new NIST standards for the grid gave this conference a boost. There are still plenty of concerns over cyber terrorism and whether one hacker can turn out the lights. Under funds from the stimulus package earlier this year, only about 10 million has been designated to provide cybersecurity for the grid even as the Obama administration has planned $11 billion in funds for the entire project. You know, I, I question whether that is enough. I mean, you're talking about the bill, billions of dollars um, in, in a new program uh, with very little invested in security, and I think that's something we need to take a look at in the Congress uh, in terms of investing more in the security piece. One of the authors of the ACES Act, Congressman Ed Markey, says a safe grid and a smart grid aren't mutually exclusive. I don't think that we have to have one or the other. I think we can move forward simultaneously on both agendas, that is creating a safe grid and a smart grid. The Commerce Department praised itself for doing in six months what it took the telecommunications industry years to do when it comes to laying down interoperability standards. But threats to the smart grid become reality, the Obama administration could be blamed for doing too much too soon. Dan Goldstein, Clean Skies News.